Hello, Claire here from Cotswold Chickens again. Um, Anthony and I, Debbie McGee here, are going to, our lovely assistant, we're going to show you about how to clear an impacted crop. Um, why would chickens get an impacted crop? If you're keeping them somewhere with lots of stringy grass, they might eat that and it gets ground up and bound up, get an enormous great big load of it stuck in their crop. When it gets blocked up, they can't actually digest their food. Um, you'll notice that when they go in in the evening, their crop is full as it should be, but they're not able to digest anything overnight. So what's happening is they're coming out in the morning, great big full crop on the front there. You need to empty that out because otherwise the blockage in there is stopping them from digesting food. They'll actually get malnutrition. This lucky lady hasn't actually got an impacted crop but I think she's eaten enough to be able to give us a bit of a show of getting some out. We're going to fill her crop up with water first and then just massage it to break up any um, blockages in her crop. And then what we're going to do is just hold her upside down very carefully to clear out her crop. Now there's a bit of an art to this because what you don't want to be doing, you don't want to be choking her um, by stopping her from actually breathing. Chickens don't have a gag reflex so that as we said in other videos you need to be very careful when you're um, holding them upside down or giving them water that you let, give them time to breathe and to swallow down. So Anthony's just going to hold her head for me and then I'm going to, if you just hold her head Anthony, okay. I'm just going to part her beak here and give a little bit of liquid into her beak. Stretch her neck up like that, a little bit of liquid and swallow. Good girl, shake your head, that's it and do it again. We're going to get quite a bit of liquid into her. In small bits, that's or, nice. Or Anthony. on me. Or on Anthony. <laughs> you have to be careful like this. They shake their heads and it's best to hold their heads still for a bit just so that they can slurp it down. One more time. Let's see if we've got enough water in her. In there. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. When they have a blockage in there, it forms a blockage in the crop. Now, the way their digestion works is chickens don't have teeth. What they do is that they eat their food, it goes down their esophagus into their crop. The crop is on the right hand side here of the breast and it's like a holding area um, for the food. It doesn't actually do anything to do with the digestion, it just holds the food in that area. And then as they digest it overnight, it goes down into the gizzard inside the body here. And the gizzard is like a, a golf ball sized organ, which has got quite, it's like that size, it's got quite thick muscular walls, rather like the size of my fingers actually, the thickness of my fingers, very muscular. And it's got all the grit in it that they either pick up from when they're free ranging around the garden or grit if you've got a pot of grit in the run to help with the digestion. <laughs> And what it does is it's held in there and that food goes down into the gizzard and then it's ground up by the muscular contractions of the gizzard. And it's a bit like if you imagine a cement mixer with bricks in it, it rattles around, all the food gets pulverized and it gets mixed up into a mush and then it gets digested as it goes down through the duodenum and into the gut. So we need to make sure that the food is actually able to progress down there and a blockage in there. And you can sometimes feel quite a, a hard, golf ball type blockage in the crop needs to be moved out of there so that we can actually get them to digest their food otherwise as you can imagine they become malnourished now important things to remember apart from the fact that chickens can't gag so you need to give them time to breathe is you need to remember glove up when you're doing this what comes out is often foul, foul and stinky and vile and disgusting if you can't clear a block crop it is quite important that if it won't clear you might have some impacted ball of grass um, you will need to take chicken to the vet they may actually just need to cut into the chest wall there empty the blockage out of the crop that way but now we've put some of that water in there you can feel that her crop is a lot more malle malleable there she hasn't had a lot of food yet have you sweetheart you haven't really got a block crop you're just pretending for us so we're just going to massage that fairly firmly it's just like a balloon of, of food in there it doesn't actually um it doesn't actually have any muscles so it can't actually move the food on itself so we're helping to move this and get this nice and soft and then i'm going to take her off anthony and hold her upside down a little bit and we're going to empty that crop out hopefully get something out of it she hasn't got a lot in there there's a little, she's, bit, I think. She's a little bit she's being a good stooge aren't you sweetheart so that's nice fairly firm massage there so you can feel it breaking down you can feel the little bits of pellets in there i'll okay. take her off you okay got her thank you sorry darling you're gonna love me for this so hold her nice and firmly, hold her legs so she doesn't scrabble. So hold her legs nice and firmly underneath like that. Massage that. Now this is like, Anthony once likened this to milking, um, was it milk, milking a bagpipe? <laughs> that was it. Because you're massaging under your arm like this, like this. Okay, breaking that up. And then you swap hands. So just hold her neck out like this and open her beak. You need to keep a finger in her beak to hold it open like that. She's, trying, she's not trying to bite me, she's just trying to close her beak. And use your right hand there to massage that crop and work it up. And then holding her down with her beak open, we're going to make her sick, not on my boots I hope. 
There's not a lot in there actually. Let's just try it again. There's not a lot in there. If you've been eating plenty. There we go. Let's try it again. It takes a little while to get it started. She's starting to stick her tongue out, so that's coming. As luck would have it, we probably won't be able to make her sick. There's not a lot in there, to be honest. No. There we go. Come on then, darling. No, nope. it's not going to come out. But that's what you need to repeat. When she's got a block crop, you will feel the blockage in there. You'll feel all the food in there. And it's quite easy just to squidge it up up her throat and out through her um, beak but as I was doing there just be careful to bring her back up so that she can breathe properly and swallow and just get a catch her breath and not actually aspirate any of what she's vomiting out once you've emptied the impacted crop keep an eye on her watch her make sure that she's eating and carrying on eating and also make sure that there's some poo coming out the other end that her gastric system hasn't shut down for any reason that she still has plenty going through her and it's coming out the other end uh, make sure she feeds regularly what doesn't go amiss is adding some apple cider vinegar to their water um, natural apple cider vinegar with the probiotic culture in it will actually help the digestion and help them to um, help them to help the digestive system and help them to digest food better thanks very much